Hey y'all, welcome to Clackbait. Today we're going to go over the Boop 65, which was sold as a group buy by KBD fans back in December. This board was designed by Bip, who is a very well-known keycap designer. I'm excited to do this. We're going to open it up, take a look at what's in the box, do a quick overview, build this thing, do some super subjective typing tests, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's go. And here's the box contents. Uh, here's the PCB. I went with the hot swap, which has per key RGB. The solder version does have RGB underglow. Also, it does have integrated USB type C versus a daughter board, and that's okay. Uh, it's pre flash support file. If you prefer via, it does require some configuration to get that started. Comment down below if you want to see a video on that. Um, you also find the usual suspects plate foam, gaskets, and uh, case foam. For the plates, I went with polycarbonate because I really want to see how much bounce and flex we can get out of this gasket keyboard, uh, but we'll see how that goes. I uh, also picked up the brass plate. Uh, if I do decide to go with tactiles in the future, I will be using this. And here's the start of the show. I went with the E-White version. I think it looks so classy. Love the rounded edges. And take a look at this brass weight. So let's take a closer look at the case. This is a 65% keyboard, which gives you the arrow keys and a right blocker here to separate that from the bottom mods. And I really, really think Bip did a great job on the design of this keyboard. Love this rounded edge on the side. It gives you something to hold and kind of move around your desk. Really think it's a great touch. The one thing I will say though, I think they could have done a better job at this transition because you can see the line from top to the sides. This is a screwless case design, so at top you do have eight different screws you can take off to get to the inside of the keyboard. Underneath the keyboard, you won't find any screws. So I think that looks really clean. This is also a seven degree typing angle, so I find it to be pretty comfortable to type on. I have other boards that are seven degrees, no problems. Now the star of the show really is the back side of the keyboard. These steps look awesome. I think it gives it a really cool retro vibe and when the light hits it right, it just uh, just gives it a good look. The brass weight is awesome. I love the way it spells out boop. I think it looks really cool. And with the E white, it pops and it looks phenomenal. Let's see how it feels to type on. Let's see how it sounds. Let's start the build.
that's the Boop 65. So what are my final thoughts? I think this keyboard looks phenomenal. It has a really cool retro vibe to it. I love the fact that it doesn't have any screws showing at the bottom. I love the rounded edges. The overall, great aesthetic to the keyboard. From a typing perspective, I think it's a little stiff, especially being a gasket keyboard. I'm not saying it's tray mount stiff, but it is stiff. But jump into BIP's Discord community. They got some really cool people in there that have some great ways to modify this to add a little bit more flex. I've done a couple things like add polyfill instead of the case foam, and I am going to do the Tempest mod just to bring a little bit more sound out from the switches. Overall though, like I said, great keyboard. If you find some extras, especially in this E-White, go for it. Appreciate y'all joining me. It's a new channel. Please like and subscribe. My next video is going to be on the Mr. Suit by Owl Labs. That's going to be pretty exciting. So subscribe so you can follow the channel. Once again, I appreciate y'all. Peace.